So in the last video, we tackled this mobile menu here. So when we click here, it brings up our mobile menu. And as we go out of it, we get a responsive. And as we come back, it should be still there. I think. So I want to, so I want to do the back to top here. So I don't have a specific file for that. So we're just going to do this right into the index. Okay, so let's take a look. So what do we need to do? Um, hmm. So first, let's add an ID to this, and let's call it back to top. Let's try that. Now let's get rid of this hidden and have it show down here. And add that. Now we need we want this over here, so we're gonna say fixed and put it in the bottom right corner there. So let's do fixed. We'll give it a Z of a Z index of 30. Because it needs when it scrolls up, it needs to be above everything. And bottom zero, right zero. Now I don't want it to be right at the edge, so I'm gonna give it a Mr. Six. In a MB6. So as I save that, hopefully it's in the corner. We can't see it though, but let's add class equals text white. Okay, it shows. Now let's do a, let's give it a element block for display. Uh, BG red 800 and BG opacity of 50. Okay, so now it's doing stuff. So we got an image here, or we got a link here. Now, what we need to do next is round the corners. I'm going to give it an MD. So I think that looks pretty good. That's all right. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's go into our JS file and create this. So we need to add a new const. Oh, let's just go like this. And we need one of these. Rename that. So if I save this right now as it is, this should actually open up our mobile menu. Cool. So that works. Now we're not going to keep that like that. So we need to look at what we wanted to do is to scroll up to the top of the page here. So we're going to need the window object, scroll, and we're going to tell it to go to the top left of the screen. And the behavior, the behavior of smooth. Let's save that. Should be saved. We're at the bottom. There's no hash. So because of this, it's preventing it. Let's click. And success. We got this all working. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. That was pretty error free. And in the next video, we'll tackle this part. So what I want to do is this to go to black when it gets triggered by this scroll here. And at the same time, have this appear as this brings in. So that trigger is going to do those two things. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is give it a little bit of formatting. 
and I'm going to go here and give this a hidden class. Just to make it disappear for now. Oh, we can't have that. hidden and block. Okay, cool. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.